Hey there, Aquarius. This is Piper from Piper's Dragon Tarot. Welcome to your reading for the, from now until the end of March. Okay, we're going to cover love, money, and career. And we'll get some oracle cards for spiritual guidance and advice as well. If you're new to the channel, thank you for watching. Please subscribe and hit the like button. And also don't forget to check out the link below to The Unexpected, which is a small extended read for you guys on Vimeo. It's a, a, anything surprising or that you don't see coming will be contained in that read. All right, here we go. Aquarius, please. Aquarius for March. Ooh. Okay, one more shuffle, then we're off and running here. Here we go. All right. So for love, we've got the six of air, money, the hermit, somebody else got the hermit, and <clears throat> career, the high priestess. Ooh. All righty. Bottom of the deck, two of water. Wow. Lots of partnership stuff this, uh, this month and nine of water. I'm going to use this card too. Five of water. So we've got three cards at the top. Uh, I was only going to use two, but I saw that one and I thought I would put it there. So somebody, there's a partnership. You guys look at all the blue. Wow. Um, you, you, you guys are happy about a partnership. Two of cups, nine of cups, but there is some regret or something that's making you feel um, it wasn't what you had hoped. Or it, maybe this isn't the person you thought it would be with, Aquarius. Or maybe, and, and when I say this, it could be about love. It could be about any partnership. Um, but this is all cups. Look at all the cups. It's about emotions. Somebody's very emotional. Um, some of you are being asked to um, tie yourself to one person. And although this decision makes you happy there's a little bit of reticence like um maybe someone else may have been in your sights and you may be asked to give up that pathway so in love, we have the six of air, moving into a quiet space, moving into calmer waters. Some of you are moving, um, but things are looking up and it can be the end of a difficult situation with the six of wands. Um, some of you could be traveling, but I feel like, I feel like it's a, um, uh, something's resolved. Like maybe somebody made a decision and now it's time to um, accept what's been given with the six of air. And so when I see the six of air, it's about learning lessons, making difficult decisions that end in peaceful resolution. Um, some of you may have been tempted to leave a situation or to leave a partnership, but I feel like you've decided that it's either... So some of you will move on with this six of air, but I feel like someone has made themselves more open to a situation, like a situation that maybe before was undesirable, now is sort of being accepted or effort is being made to move along the lines of a relationship, even though some of you aren't sure you're going to see it through, but it's about finding peace in the current situation, I feel. So whether you're single or partnered, there is a partnership here. I feel like this reading is for people who are partnered, actually. But... Um, For those of you that are single, it could be about a partnership would make you happy. Like that's what you want. Um, but there's some sort of, the five of water indicates either regrets or sadness about having to make a decision. 
maybe about which person to go with, but I feel like that decision has been made. Um, so the six of air is clarified by pleasure seeking. So I actually feel like some of you maybe in the past, um, In the past, you were maybe involved in a situation with three people and nothing was serious, or you were just out for to have some fun partying here with the pleasure seekers. Um, and But now you've sort of moved into a more stable situation here. Like... Like, I feel like you, you are making some sort of choice to settle down, but it's causing you like a little bit of sadness. You're like, oh, there goes my life. Um, so at the bottom of the deck, we, we have the cheerfulness card, the malady card, and the conversation. So <clears throat> somebody expressed something. So there was a conversation or there will be a conversation about There is going to be a reason to celebrate because there's light at the end of the tunnel. You're feeling better after a conversation. So there may be a conversation that needs to be had or that hasn't happened yet um, that will um, shed some light on a situation in a partnership. Because the malady card is actually about feeling better. Some of you guys, Aquarius, want to see other people. But maybe now it isn't the time to address that. You're fully aware that this person maybe wouldn't be open to it or um, there is a need to focus on current situations at hand. But it, I feel like in the future, when you guys talk about it, there may be a, someone may be a little bit more open to that. But currently... Um, Hmm. I feel like there's a need for peace or a need to move into like a quieter space of peace. I'm getting peace of mind in order to maintain a peace of mind. You simply are, are determined to make it work for now. Mm, denial. I acknowledge my fear, but I replace it with the insight of awareness. You may be in denial of a situation or somebody else may be in denial. And... Um, So this card encourages you to look at the reality of a situation. If you're doing something that makes someone else happy, you may be, you, I feel like you guys are doing something because you need things to be a certain way or you need to keep the peace or you need to be in a better place. Um, but there's some sort of like denial going on because you need to become more aware or you need to look at the reality. This is about really, really taking a look at things and where things need to be or where things need to go. You may need to move on. Some of you may not be happy in a relationship or some of you may be doing something, fulfilling someone else's expectations here, but um, well, 
<laughs> okay, these two cards just fell out. I didn't even shuffle. Um, we've got adjustments are required and hold your vision. So it's about focusing on what you really need or what you want and about um, making the necessary adjustments to get there. Some of you may just be I feel like some of you might just be prolonging the agony of a situation like this uh, five of water is about some regret or some grievance that you've got um, that isn't settled and some changes need to be made. I do feel like on the bottom of the deck, there's a need to release negativity. Um, you may need to move on. You may decide in the future that you're that you're going to. Um, but but I do feel like in the future, a conversation makes you know there's light at the end of the tunnel, or um, something is seen in a different light, and makes you feel better here. Okay. Money. We've got the hermit. Somebody else got the hermit. This is spending time in quiet meditation, spiritual teaching, self-discovery, trying to discern which path is the right one for you. Um, the money situation this month is There's something, something ominous here, actually. Um, <laughs> for Aquarius, um, there's something that you need to think about or something you need to reconsider because the current situation is... I feel like something's coming to a head or some a decision needs to be made. Like, they're saying... Um, There's a need to like delve deeply. For some of you, your finances are deeply influenced by your emotional state. Like when you feel really good um, about money, you spend it. And when you don't feel good about money, I feel like you need to get your spending under control. Like you, some of you, <laughs> some of you might be emotional spenders. Have you ever heard of emotional eating? Like some people eat when they're happy and they eat when they're sad or, you know, it makes them eat more. Um, and I feel like you guys are emotional spenders. And so there's a need to get something under control, but you're struggling to figure it out. Like you've gone within or you're taking a break to um, try to discover how to break old habits. But I, and I feel like you guys make money, but on the other end, you spend it on things that aren't really necessary. And I feel like your emotions are um, tied into this. Emotional spending, still seeing it. <laughs> and I feel like this month, things come to the forefront. Um, bottom of the deck, so this is the consolation card. Consolation brings you the money you need in the end, but it's because you're, you, um, this is like just being able to make ends meet, like money comes when you need it the most, but it's not necessarily the best way to do things.
Yeah, again, trying to figure out like which money needs to be spent for certain things. Um, you know, extra money during the month doesn't mean you can always like have a wicked good time with it. Um, if you get extra money during the month, then you may need to put that away. But and I feel like your emotions are tied into that. Um, So on the bottom of the deck, I've got the wedding card, the room card, and the death card. Um, so, so <laughs> oh, I feel like some of you. Some of you might be moaning and groaning over the proper space for um, a where to where to hold a wedding or um, <laughs> I feel like in the future there's some sort of ending regarding that. Um, so may need to give up some space in order to um, create some unity here. Some of you it's about where to have a wedding. Um, and there's an ending there, but you may not be, you may not no longer be considering a certain space to hold, um, either to hold a wedding or, or there just needs to be unity in a situation before it ends. Some of you, um, some of you were thinking of holding the wedding maybe in your space. <laughs> Somebody, you can get married here. We'll just have it here. But now you can't do that. It's about accepting the fact that you are, um, you have limited space and time and money to handle such an event. So um, some of you are canceling it. Um, Better decisions in the future. Look at this. Yep, freedom. I possess the power and the free will to create my own happiness. This is about choices. Um, some of you need to use your sense of humor. At the bottom of the deck, I've got courage, humor, and taking responsibility. You need to look at things from a different angle and not be so hard on yourself or not be so judgmental. Um, you have to know that you've got the freedom to control this. It's about knowing you can make your own decisions. You no longer need to feel like anyone else can make these decisions for you. Um, you have complete freedom. The power is all yours. So everything comes down to you. And it's about making sure that no one else influences you in your decisions as well. If you are under pressure from uh, people around you, um, it's there's an instruction here to remember that you're the one that has the power and the will to um, direct your path. Goodness, my cards are sticky. Let's take that one. Oh yeah, you are good enough. So if your self-esteem took a hit, oh yeah, bottom of the deck. Um, okay, so you, <laughs> your self-esteem may have taken a hit you, and you could be a little depressed in the month of March, but it's, you got to realize that you're the one who is capable of um, doing the right thing as far as money is concerned. So in the bottom of the deck, I've got a time to give rather than take your dreams need a practical plan and a personal issue reaches resolution. So the problem gets solved. 
You need to put effort into putting, you know, putting pen to paper, putting plans down on paper. This way, when your emotions come into play, you no longer need to like, it's like you, you're your own, you're your own worst enemy. And so putting the plan on paper gives you a direction. And then when you get weird feelings or emotions, um, you can refer to that and know which way to go. Um, because sometimes relying on your emotions to make decisions isn't the best thing. Okay, so career, the high priestess. Okay, the high priestess is about trusting yourself, listening to your intuition, um, knowing. A high priestess is all knowing. Um, there could be secrets, you could know a secret. Some of you want to go back to school, but you haven't exactly figured out what you want to do. You simply know deep within you that you need to further yourself. And I feel like you haven't told anybody about it. This is like a deep psychic insight. Um, it's about following your intuition. Where's my clarifier deck? Um, some of you feel like your career has come to a standstill and you are trusting your inner voice. Like you may have felt a very strong pull or tug, like the universe is pulling you in a direction and now you feel like you want to go in that direction. Um... And I feel like it's like an epiphany from within. So the thought card and the sweetheart card. So Some of you were thinking very, um, having thoughts about someone at work who may have, a, you may have felt like you had a special attachment to someone who maybe you thought the connection was deeper than originally thought. And when, um, Ooh, someone advised you actually, someone may have advised you that this would be the best move. Um, or, ooh, yeah. So you guys actually, okay. You're thinking of your significant other. This may be someone at work or maybe someone at home. Um, I do think you guys want to go back to school or you want to make a change and you may have the secret buried within you, but it's your intuition is just banging away at you. You really want to further your education to make more money. You want to become, some of you want to become more intuitive or you think doing this for a living may be a very good, some of you may be, um, so maybe some of you are getting a psychic reading um, about your career, but I do feel like it's about education. I also feel like there's consideration of another here someone else who you may need to consider in making decisions and it, it you know it might be weighing on you you may be taking this other person into consideration and maybe that's why you know that you need to get you know, get going um, so that you can further your career. Bottom of the deck. Um, we have reunion, constancy, and despair.
This is about becoming, wow. I feel like this is about strength. So in the future, you guys may be like, Feel like this is about another person you this is about revisiting a situation in which you feel there is constant you may need to be really dedicated because the despair card is bothering me um someone may need someone stronger because um either they're keep sinking into the depths of despair or again, I'm hearing something about emotions like they I feel like you need to be the strong one in a relationship. This is why you want to further your um, education or make things better about your career because you're having some of you might be having strong psychic hits that that there is something coming that you need to prepare for. And the constancy card is like being a strong and sturdy, supportive, um, dedicated person. And I feel like you know that you need to give this support, but you're you're um, doubting your ability to give that support completely to someone who is really down. Purpose. I know that I'm, so this is about dedication and knowing what your purpose is. I know what I'm here to do. Um, So somebody, I keep seeing the word reignition, like reignite, rededicate. And reversing the effects of what has transpired. So I think they're asking you to dedicate, rededicate yourself to um, making whatever this is better, like Bottom of the deck, you have um, taking responsibility for happiness and honesty, like facing a truth. So I do feel like you're realizing that something needs to be done here. And it's about your career. Time to take action. Yep, for sure. Um, I also have expect powerful change. So it won't be comfortable, but it will bring about... Um, a much better situation um, but it, it this is about um, expect powerful change is always a bit of a roller coaster and it, things can be difficult but it doesn't mean you shouldn't do it it is time to take action this is a new moon card two new moon cards actually so it's about pointing yourself in the direction and making it happen all right I'm going to get one card from the bottom of the deck for spiritual guidance for the month Aquarius, please. Whoa. Okay. All right. I'm going to take this one. You got two, but I don't have time to read two. So this is the one that I think applies the most here. This is the one that flipped over. So we're going to read. This is abundance from within. And knowing the made you right choice. Uh, this is about feeling... Um, Feeling like you know you made the, the right choices. Feeling abundant without someone else's help. So, you must stop thinking that others are somehow better than you. For in reality, they are not. When you let go of this distorted view of your unique talents, you will... Sorry, I read that wrong. When you let go of this distorted view, your unique talents will be visible to yourself and others. You have many special qualities and gifts. 
from now on, every time you see a quality you like in another person, check to see where that same quality is in you. It might be hidden, but without a doubt, it will be there in one form or another. You deserve abundance to be and have all your heart desires. But first, you must feel abundant on the inside. Only when you are able to feel the abundance within will it manifest externally. As your perceptions are brought into balance, you become a more effective force in the world. In acknowledging the abundance within you and the many beautiful qualities you possess, you will open the way for an endless stream of abundance to flow into your life. All right, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Stay tuned for the unexpected, and I'll see you next month. Bye.